Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Owen and welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I am doing another vintage style pickups video. However, this one's got a little bit of a twist because all these pieces I'm going to show you guys today, I got when I was in LA a couple weeks ago. I just did a, I think it was a five day trip to LA and I acquired all of these pieces right here. Um, all of them are such bangers and I can't wait to show you guys. But actually every single item except for this last item right here I got from one store which is a store called Moth Food in Los Angeles. I believe it's in Eagle Rock I want to say. I could be wrong. But this store is probably my favorite like retail space out there right now at least that I've been to. Um, it's such a cool environment. It's a very well curated vintage shop. They carry items like all the way back from like the early 1900s. So their collection is very very extensive. A lot of it is military based. Um, workwear based or it's items made in different parts of the world and so I do have quite a good selection of items here and actually did get a couple of clips in the store um, nothing like too crazy I just want to show you guys what the space looks like it was kind of just me shopping around looking at all the different items as me and my family and my friends were shopping um, we were just like accruing a bunch of items throwing it all into a big pile and then I'm pretty sure in the later clips the guy who was working there at the time Justin shout out to you man um, was just going through all the items, taking pictures, and then getting prices for everything. I'm just going to play a few minutes of the clips I got inside the store, so enjoy. Say like Justin, if you message him, just say like Justin Miller to come through and he'll probably open it up. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, he does a lot of like, he goes, a lot of his buying is in like south of France. Oh man, I can imagine. He does like Italy buys too. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I mean, this is our pile right here. Bunch of states, it's just untouched territory and stuff. Yeah. It's but actually a really sick like, jacket. Like, but I like how it's like that is so like, sick. Luckily, Gary, well, I have my half pickles. And it's fucking you know, like, awesome. It's perfect. Yeah. I'm going to have to wear this shit out. Throw it, throw it onto the pile. That's really cool. It's pretty heavy. Right? Yeah. Oh, that's a good car heart, yeah. Dude, I, I saw that, that and I was like, oh shit. Yeah. I like how it's just the stretch. This Perfect. Where these come from? Uh, yes, right over there. Yeah, my girlfriend, Tom, is going for a master's. So I just moved it over there. And then, uh, I know people that own the store it's like the back stock room, I think, just more yeah, stuff. A lot of different categories. So many cool yeah. denim jackets. I definitely recommend checking the denim jackets here. Some shorts. Didn't find any good shorts though, unfortunately. They're a little too short for me for the most part. But still really sick. What are these? I got a nice paint spider. Oh my god. <laughs> those are crazy. Oh man, those are crazy. Yeah, and corduroy jacket is pretty cool. Uh, what is it like? Something that's getting like the denim jacket though, man. Oops, oh, I forget what it's called. Corduroy. Yeah, like something. Yeah, it's like cheesy material. It's like that. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's so royal. It's so badass, yeah. Which makes sense. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's funny because. Uh, we were like reading, I was like reading this article and they were saying like these pants right here. Like they're way too small. Is, like, used, they have See the waist like, right there. there. Okay, it's tight. It's, 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 like, it's like a 28, like he said. But I just love all the details about, like, about it. The colors are not showing up too well on the camera, but it's kind of like a light faded blue. So it's a little dark on the camera, but it's definitely lighter than that. Some vintage bandanas. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in this Is that it from that? Um, and then this, this jacket, yeah. yeah. This T2? Yeah. That one? Yeah, cool. Tommy's gonna be stoked you're getting this t shirt. Huh? Tommy's gonna be stoked you're getting this. 
I love it's, it. It's like his favorite t-shirt ever. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's just so funny. The graphic is sick. Yeah. That's why I, I, I don't get it still. So it's, it's like it's Jerry perfect. Garcia or something. I love it. Yeah. The tree man. After my friends, my family, and I um, had finished like gathering all of our items and figured out what we wanted to take home, I just paid for everything just to make it a simple one order type deal. And I walked away with one, two, three, four, five, six items. But I think in total we bought, I think it was 12 or 13 items. And the order total was, I think, $1,400 around there. So it was a very, very big order. A lot of it does come from like the semi high prices of these items, just because they are vintage one of a kind or like very hard to find. So I kind of justify the price in those regards. And then the last item that I wanna show you guys, I did not get it from Moth Food, but I did get it in LA, so I figured I'd show you guys anyways. Without wasting any more time, I'm just gonna hop right into the pickups. Hopping right in, this first item is definitely one of the most worn items I have from Moth Food right now. Um, I've been wearing it so much. It's such an easy to wear piece, and it is this navy and white vertically striped um, like chore shacket, I guess what you would call it. It does have a very oversized silhouette. Um, it's probably like closer to an XL in size, but I'm more of a large. But I think it fits great on me. I love how it looks. It has three key pockets, two at the bottom and then one on the chest area. And it does have like subtle distressing all over. There's like a little tiny hole right here. There's some like loose threads here and there, but overall the condition of this piece is really beautiful. Um, there's nothing on the back. It's just plain and simple. I really like styling with this piece because it's so easy. You just throw it on over like a t-shirt or like a tank top and you're pretty much good to go. Let me see if I can find branding because actually a lot of the stuff doesn't have tags anymore um, just because they are so old and they just kind of fall off. But let me see if I can find anything. Uh, looks like I'm not having any luck. There is a tag up here, but it's not like a branding tag. It just says 100% bomb wool. I'll probably throw up a translation of what that means, but it kind of feels like a cotton, so I'm assuming it's cotton. Um, actually, there is a size tag. It says size 56, which is actually really big. Um, so I guess this piece normally would fit really small, but since it is a very large size, it just fits perfect on me. Moving into this next item, again, I don't know what brand this is or anything, um, but it's such a sick piece. As soon as we walked through the doors, there was like a rack with um, a couple of anoraks or just outerwear parkas, and this one caught my eye right away. Um, it's kind of like this khaki colored um, anorak. It doesn't have a zipper front or anything like that. It's like a pullover jacket. It's got two really nice oversized pockets on the front right here. Both pockets have um, two buttons, which is kind of interesting because Normally pockets just have one button. And then moving towards the bottom, you have two more pockets. These ones are angled, again, with two uh, buttons on each one. This one has a replacement button, but I kind of like that touch of character. And then when you come back up, the hood is actually a really interesting shape. It's kind of like folded in and then stitched on itself, which is really cool. You guys can see that the hood right there would cover my head nicely. It's not like the kind of hood where it would come down to the shoulders almost. It's very tight fitting. It's supposed to go around your head, keep you warm. If I had to guess, this is probably like a hiking or military parka just because of all the functionality in it. On the back of the neck area, you have this really cool pattern right here, kind of outlining where the hood shape begins. The sleeves are really interesting because they have these adjustable straps on them, the little belt clasp. So if you wanted to keep yourself warm and not allow any cold air to get in, you just tighten that up. I think this piece is really sick, not only for style, but also functionality. Like I said, this will probably be a really nice, like late fall jacket, early winter, because it doesn't have an insulation or anything like that. Moving on to this next item, I'd have to say this is probably my favorite item from the whole haul that I got. Um, this is the one piece I want to walk away with, if anything else. And it is this beautiful work jacket. It's a really interesting denim. It's not like your normal um, denim that you see on a pair of jeans. It's, I don't know, it's, it's treated differently. Um, I really love the color on it. Probably originally a blue. Now it's more of a purple, which is really cool. Some of the key details I like, obviously since it is a work jacket, is gonna have that zipper front. And then it does have two zipper pockets on the chest area. Both are symmetrical, just normal like square pockets. I forgot to mention that the zipper pockets do have little rivets right there, which is kind of a nice detail with little stars embossed on them. That's the backside, very plain, simple, no like crazy branding or imagery going on. Um, and then one of my other favorite parts is actually the subtle distressing and like repairs going on. There was like two little holes in the arm right there, but they've since been repaired by a past owner. And then also this sleeve was also repaired. Here's what one sleeve looks like. It looks fairly normal, except there is a little bit of repairing going on, a little bit of replacement. And the other sleeve does have a different repair. Um, this one is done with like the kind of denim you see on a pair of jeans, which is kind of cool, like a really nice detail. 
Um, so they're kind of asymmetrical in those regards. Probably never gonna let this piece go. It's so beautiful, it's one of a kind. And then moving on to the next item from the haul, it is this t-shirt right here. This is another one of my most worn items and probably my second favorite from the haul. It is a Russell Athletics t-shirt, um, size XL. The tag looks exactly the same from the other t-shirt I got in the haul from last week, if you guys wanted to watch that video. The graphic says South Milwaukee YARC recreation and the backside says women's club of south milwaukee i love the stencil font that they use um, it's nice and cracked a little bit faded but it's beautiful and on the back side they've got this amazing cursive going on and then where this t-shirt kind of separates from a normal t-shirt i guess is that the collar for some reason it is this like really saturated um, like royal blue. Normally it's something that you'd see on like a ringer tee, but on ringer tees, the sleeve hems are also that same color, which would have been interesting to see, but I love this t-shirt so much. It fits me great. It's got a little hole in the neck right there, but nothing crazy. And yeah, it's just really nice and faded too. I've worn it so much. It's such an easy t-shirt to wear. And even though it is really similar to this jacket in color, wearing those as a combo is so sick. Moving on to this next item, it is a button up shirt. Um, I love my button up shirts. I have a really nice collection of vintage button up shirts now. Um, and this is such a great piece to add to the collection. It is a Penny's Top Flight button-up. It says, Need, needs no ironing, large. It does have that Revere collar that you see in a lot of t-shirts um, made nowadays. It does have a classic pocket right there. And then other than that, it is a really basic t-shirt. It's nice and boxy. I got this piece because it was really nice and flowy. You can just throw it over a t-shirt, have it unbuttoned, or you can have it buttoned up. Such a beautiful shirt. Um, I'm very happy with this pickup. Again, pairs up perfect with this jacket. And then moving on to the last item that I got from Moth Food, um, before touching on the huge grail item, this is a pair of vintage military um, trousers. They actually did used to be cargo pants. However, um, for some reason, the cargo pockets have been removed by a previous owner, which is actually really cool because, you know, over time, it, when you're wearing these out in the sun, the color will get bleached out a little bit. Um, but then once you take off the pockets, the fabric underneath has been untouched by the sun. So you do have a little bit of discoloration going on on both sides. The model number of these pants is D-4669. It does have two pockets up at the front right there. And that does have some interesting pockets going on in the back. They're like snap button pockets. Lots of loose thread going on. And then, if, yeah, there's also one more pocket at the front. This is like a... Um, like a coin pocket or like a pocket watch pocket, that kind of thing. And yeah, these are just such a beautiful pair of pants. I do need to steam them a little bit because they are a tiny bit wrinkly, um, but they're so nice. I love how they stack. They're extremely wide too. You guys can see that bottom hem is pushing probably like eight inches. And yeah, that is going to conclude my moth food pickups. And then moving on to the last item, probably what you guys clicked on this video for is this Vivian Westwood, uh, I think it's Autumn Winter 93 Cherub Trucker Jacket. I forgot to mention, I did get this from Silver League. Fernando, you guys probably know who that is. I told him to reserve this item for me and I'll pick it up when I'm in LA. Quite the grail, I'd say, um, just because these are so rare and so hard to find. This did originally come as like a full set with a pair of pants too. The pants, even though they were tagged a size large, they he said they fit like a 28 waist, which is way too small, which is really unfortunate because I'd love to have the full set. Probably not wear it together as a set, but I just like to have both pieces. But this jacket is tagged a size large. It fits really, really boxy. It's extremely wide, kind of cropped in the body too. The backside is really nice. It does have a very traditional backside. It does have like the um, the bronze buttons with like the Vivian Westwood uh, Saturn logo type thing embossed onto the top of the buttons. Pockets are amazing too. The pockets are like an interesting shape. Not really something you see too often with like work jackets or trucker jackets. Kind of circular almost. They kind of have a little bit of an arc to them. Now I just gotta find the pants. So if you guys have any leads on like a size XL in the pants, um, please send it my way. And yeah, that is gonna do it for the haul. Let me know what you guys thought of these items. I am seriously a huge fan of every single one of these. Shout out to Justin and Tommy over at Moth Food. I really appreciate you guys having us. And that's gonna do it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, have a good day. See you guys next time.